How you doing? I'm Rick Cox, and we're back at Powhatan, Virginia, at my house that I'm restoring here. Uh, we've, it's been about two weeks since I talked to you last. Uh, we've had some progress made here. We've got the basement, uh, the moisture issue, and the foundation issue pretty much completed. We're working on the HVAC system, and we've got the cabinets out. As you can tell around here about the outbuilding over here, they dug up the all around the building here, and they put drainage in. So now when it rains, uh, they dug drainage through the basement, and it comes all the way through here. If it drains in, all the way out through here. And then it'll go to the side of the building here and have a natural drain to the ditch on the side of the property back here. On the inside, we're going to take you inside, and you can see what they've done in the, base, in the basement here. All right, inside the basement, uh, we had them dig up all along the base, the inside wall of the basement, all the way around, and they put a drainage system in. The HVAC man is actually going to make this air return smaller, and he's going to put an air vent here and an air vent on the other side of the wall to kind of keep the air circulating around. So that's it. We've got to get all this flooring up because we're going to put new flooring in, but one thing noticed right away is it's rained here not yesterday but the last two days quite a bit and there's no moisture in the basement so that's been a, a great thing totally different we also removed the wood burning fireplace in here that took up half the other side of the basement so that's nice and got the fireplace um, the brick and everything masoned up as you can see over here all the walls are removed we got the the braces in for the uh, foundation issues. All these, we've got the carbon strips all around here. These needed the steel beams. Um, everything is fixed. These walls aren't going anywhere. The fireplace here, did some masonry work. Got all the bricks fixed here. Looks very good. So on the other side here, this is all cleaned up here on this side. This is also where they put the drainage system here on the side of the wall, on the floor, the basement. And then here's all the white vinyl stuff they did for the moisture too, which really cleans up the basement a lot. They took this wall down. Uh, they also sprayed all the, the walls and the, uh, the overhead here just to make sure there's no mold issues or uh, with the special treatment. So now what we're going to do is we'll move upstairs and look at the kitchen. We removed all the cabinets here. Here we are in the kitchen. As you can tell, we took all the cabinets out, um, still all the plumbing, and we've got to take the flooring out. Uh, probably going to do that tomorrow. The handyman's going to do that. Like I said, the HVAC guy's working on putting, he's going to put a air return up here in the hall ceiling. So we'll have two air returns, one in the basement and one here. Keep that airflow going. And we've also got the kitchen cabinets. I'm going to walk here in the living room real quick and show you where we, what we've got for those. They actually came in. This is the cabinets right here. Top and bottom, we're going to put them just on a single line there, just like they are along the wall. And here's the countertops that we got. I don't know if you can see those very well. And there's the floor inside that. So one good one thing really good about this house is the in the top floor, except for the kitchen and bathrooms, is we have wood floors and they're actually in pretty good shape. So that's one expense that we don't have. We need to clean and polish them up, but we don't have to put new flooring in, which is very nice. One thing that we're watching everything right now is right on budget. Uh, we stayed on budget for the moisture issues, the structural. Uh, the kitchen right now, we're still on budget. So um, the only thing that we're kind of got to watch is our trash container that we got is getting full. Hopefully, I won't have to empty that and bring it back, uh, but we're pretty much at the top. Mike, show you a picture of that. Um, bathrooms, I've got to get somebody in the uh, tub, either we're going to either restore it or get a new one. Uh, I've heard uh, some people tell me before I get a new one, have, check with some different contractors to see about restoring it because I heard they can do some pretty good job. So I'm going to check with that tomorrow. That's all we've got for today. Um, hopefully you'll continue to follow my channel. I'll talk to you later.